You know, Han Solo said it best to C-3PO, never tell him the odds. Never tell John Wick the odds. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie and Points, movie review of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, the newest film from director Chad Stahlhoski. It stars Keanu Reeves, Ian McShane, Lance Reddick, Lawrence Fishburne, it brings into the fold Holly Berry as Sophia, Mark Dacascus as Zero, Asia Kate Dillon as the Adjudicator, and Angelica Houston as the Director. So before I begin, there will be some slight spoilers for Chapter 3 because I, you know, I'm going to be talking about Chapter 2, kind of leading into it and so on and so forth. So if you don't want to watch it, if you want to watch the movie first, please do. But if not, just be aware. Um, so Chapter 3 is basically the continuation of Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Um, this takes place about 40 minutes after what happened in Chapter 2. If you remember, he, John Wick broke the one of the cardinal rules of the assassin world, which is you never murder someone in the safe haven for the you know, assassins. This one in the Ian McShane's Continental. And so he has to go on the run. He's been placed on excommunicado, and that basically means every assassin in the known world is going to go after him and try and kill him for the bounty of like $14 million. I think it was over $15 million, somewhere in that range. And so he has to figure out ways to get himself out of the country and to into trying to get himself, you know, amended or just, you know, resolved of these crimes because he did it because... You know, the guy who, in John Wick Chapter 2, who basically betrayed him, he goes in for as a safe haven and murders him, and you're not supposed to do that. So, that's where our story leads into. There's that, and then, you know, you meet the Holly Berry character with Sophia, and then there's some cool stuff with there. And eventually it leads into the ending, and that's where I'm going to leave it off at. Because what you're wondering is, does this movie succeed in where Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 have done and the answer is yes this movie is insane and violent and over the top and it does everything just as well as chapter one and chapter two even though i think chapter two is a little bit better because chapter three can get a little exhausting and it's violence and it's gore and it's over the topness it's not necessarily saying it's a bad thing but it is a thing that can cause people to go you know i want to breathe every once in a while and this movie doesn't let you breathe for very long and the things that John Wick has done in Chapter 2 and Chapter 1 haunts him into Chapter 3 because when he has to go do what he has to do and when the things are coming down on him, he is just going full tilt and it's just some insane stuff going on in this movie and I enjoyed it. I laughed. There's a lot of good humor in this movie. The audience is one of the best audiences I've ever seen in a movie because they were into it. When the violence happens, it's people going, oh, ah, it's crazy. And, you know, when you bring back, like, Lawrence Fishburne, you bring back, you know, Ian McShane and Lance Reddick, they get to do some really cool stuff. And they get to, you know, expand what the High Council is, what this John Wick world is doing. And it just it makes it so much more fun. And the action sequences are turned up past 10 to a past 11 past 25 up to a million this is like if you took chapter 2 which was kind of like the raid this is the raid 2 where the action sequences the violence or more because there's a scene with him and angelica houston where they're at a ballet and she's like a a director she's called the director but she is you know teaching students how to protect themselves and so on and so forth and there's a back history between john wick and angelica houston's director but this movie is almost like a ballet of violence, a ballet of you know martial arts, a ballet of just everything. And just Chad Stahelski, he's known for doing stunts and being in the stunt world and working with Keanu Reeves. He knows how to create mood and tension with that ballet of movement and action. And it really works here. There's some really cool stuff like you've seen in the trailers. And if you haven't seen the trailers, you're going to go in and you're just going to be impressed because... When this movie starts, it doesn't let up. And like I said, that can be exhausting. But for most people, it's going to be such a fun time at the theater. And, you know, don't take your... There were kids at this theater. I don't... At the screening I went to, I don't know why. And it's always been a problem. Why bring your kids to, like, a rated R hardcore violent movie? And that's what this is. But the adjudicator comes in. 
which is played by Asia Kate Dillon. And she is assessing the situation. She is going to do her thing and it's going to, you know, how it plays out and so on and so forth. Well, she hires a character named Zero, who's played by uh, Mark Dukaskis, and he is basically on the hunt for John Wick to take him down, but he appreciates John Wick. You know, this is the funny thing about this movie is a lot of the characters, a lot of the assassins really appreciate John Wick because he has such a storied history about his character and about who he is, and it's just fascinating to watch, but the story is so not there but if you don't i guess that's the way it's been heading to a point where john wick in the original movie he lost his wife and they lost the dog he went on a rampage with the dog and then chapter two is the whole betrayal and so on and so forth and the three which is called parabellum which means war is a straight out war movie this is a war movie to its finest and there like i said the violence is escapade and escalated and so on and so forth and Keanu Reeves, once again, owns the character. He's amazing in this movie. He, the fact that he spends so much time just entranced in the role of this character, like he is with Neo or Bill and so on and so forth, this is his franchise and it works really well. And it's nice to see that he just brings it every single time. And it's the same thing with like Lawrence Fishburne. He brings it like he usually does. And it's nice to see him back. And as the same character, you know, kind of like Neo and Morpheus and so on and so forth. But once again, Ian McShane stand out. He's amazing in this movie. He's always been an amazing actor to watch, you know, ever since Deadwood, where, you know, I originally remember him from. Lance Reddick gets more to do in this movie. And it's, we get to see uh, Holly Berry kick some ass. And this is one of her better roles that she's done in the past few years. So, um, but yeah, I got to give credit to uh, Chad Sahowski. This movie is beautiful looking. The neons and blues and greens. The rain, it's raining a lot of times in this movie. And when the fight sequence is happening, you know, the way the cinematography plays out, the fact that music that a lot of times doesn't play over the fight sequences, which is really cool because it gets you into that really emotional stake of just interesting, chaotic nature without having the music play out through it. But this movie is fun. It's good. It's excessive. And it's exactly what you want from Chapter 3. So I definitely give it a recommend if you like John Wick. And if you like, you know, what they're going for. So, but anyways, that's my non-spoilerish take of Chapter 3, Parallelbellum. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the comment button. Tell me what you think below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button at the top, you know, to find out what I'm doing next. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top find out what's coming next for movie emporium also check out these two videos they're amazing i think they're awesome i think you'll enjoy them too but otherwise thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you next time